Uh, good afternoon. We're here at the College of the Bahamas on their afternoon break. And uh, we're in the vicinity of the basketball court, which is as close as I'll get to playing basketball. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have some funny guys in <laughs> But um, seriously, folks, we're here this afternoon because uh, we heard that there's a security problem here at the College of the Bahamas. And we're very concerned about the fact that people are being attacked and are victims of crime in a place which should be a secure environment for students. And what we want to do, first of all, is to say as a part of the Progressive Liberal Party and representing the Progressive Liberal Party that we stand with solidarity with the students and that we're concerned about it. We don't want to concede any territory to the DNA or the FNM because the PLP was instrumental in starting this institution and we want to make sure that it continues and we want to make sure that you're safe and secure. So joining me this afternoon is the Member of Parliament for Yamacraw, who's Melanie Griffin. Mm -hmm. And also with me is our candidate for Fort Charlotte, who's Andre Rollins. And to my right is Renwood Wells, who is the candidate for Bamboo Town. And all of us are here to just reinforce this message that we hope that this atmosphere is safe and secure at COB. We're calling on the administration on the government to do everything in their power to ensure that it's safe and secure. Uh, there are too many reports of uh, students being robbed. We understand that a female was assaulted. This should not be happening on a campus like this. This should be a place where you should feel secure during the course of the day. Okay, I think, I, okay, I do have a question. As for the security on COB's campus, do you think it would be better if we bring in another company to wash over us? Because last night, actually, in class, I actually heard one of my classmates said that a security told her his job is to it's wash to the campus, the, the not building, the students. Not the students, yes, I've heard that. So, do you think it would be better if another company comes in versus having these, I call them Mickey Mouse, because they're Mickey Mouse. These Mickey Mouse security washing over us. Well, the security works for um, COB. So maybe what we need to do is to have a meeting with the administration and say perhaps they need to upgrade the security and give them additional training. I mean, one of the things we did uh, when we were in office, you know, is we actually brought the police into the schools. Now, I'm not sure we want to do that here at COB, but if that would assist in beefing up the security, then maybe we have to consider that as well. Well, I also think you should consider, um, honestly, I'm a young person, but to me, these younger securities, they are, to me, they're the ones who are the problem. Because from what I've heard, they're the ones stealing something out of people's car. They're the ones stealing cars. They're the ones beating on students. So I feel as if, if they were much older, they would actually perform their job much better. So is there a, any sort of dialogue going on with the administration on this issue? On the students? Uh -huh. for everybody to come in and um, address their concerns after we had a particular incident at the library. They didn't hold a meeting, but I'm not sure where it went from there. Um, but personally, I think it's not only the security office, I think it's the building itself. Because this semester, I had a class in the people, and it wasn't... We, we had just heard about a robbery where the whole class was held up. So we were concerned, so we wanted to lock our door, but we couldn't even lock our door because the classroom we had didn't have a door. Didn't have a lock, yeah. So it's not even like security, because let's say the people that are coming into rock, they pass the security. When they reach the door, we can't even lock the door. Right. So I think they need to start from the basic and make sure that the buildings itself are secured, and then we can work on the security officers, and then we can go from, from the inside of But what I was saying is you have a student government, for example. Yes, that's the point. Is the student government uh, doing anything? anything to move the issue forward? Well, honestly, when we recently, we had um, lunch with the president, and I went to the meeting, just out of curiosity. The president of the college? Of or the college. Of, yeah. And she told us um, there was never any rapes or anything on campus, and I'm like, you cannot be serious. So honestly, I don't think she is taking it as serious. I mean, as for Cobus, I really haven't witnessed any Cobus member 
having uh, they tried to do it, but it's only so much that Corvus goes to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because if Corvus goes to the, to the president and they go to the, they go to the committee and they get shut down on, and none of their, um, what they're asking for, nobody listens to them, they can't do anything. So we might have all of the good ideas for them. Well, I can tell you, I am a founding so, member of Corvus, and I certainly know that they should have the ability to address your issues because I also believe that they serve on a college council. They have a representative, I think, yeah, the president on the college is there. council. And so they are able to go to the highest level in the college. And I think perhaps one of your first um, efforts should be to put together a list of your concerns as students and sit down with COPAs and ask them to make representation to the administration um, on your behalf and to have changes made. You know, I remember and recall my days here at, 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 at the College of the Bahamas and, I, you know, just to show how far we've come, definitely in those days, I, I mentioned to some of you earlier, we used to be, you know, in between classes playing whist in the, in the auditorium and just, you know, by and large moving around freely, not really con concerned so much about security, but it tells you how far we've come as a country that now um, we have um, such criminal elements and such criminal activities happening um, on the campus. And so COBUS was designed to represent the students at the highest level. And uh, you should ensure that that happens. I think, I think as a group too, um, you should expect more or demand more of those persons who uh, supposedly represent the College of Obama's Union of Students, as Mrs. Griffin was saying, uh, was formed to promote activism on behalf of the student body. And it is important that they serve well in that role. Otherwise, um, you know, you really as a student body have no voice. Um, and there's power in numbers. Uh, as, as we are part of a political organization that represents thousands and thousands of Bahamians, uh, COPUS is supposed to represent the entire uh, student group. And um, as I understand it, uh, a part of your tuition every year uh, totals $200,000, I believe, or thereabouts, uh, that goes to uh, COBUS to serve your needs and interests. And I think you need to lobby for that, that money mm -hmm. to be used mm -hmm. in a way that is going to uh, be more tangible in its benefit to you. Um, for example, uh, a lot the of members money. of parliament uh, have a, a, uh, an amount, constituency. a constituency allowance that they can access for the benefit of their constituency, and that amounts to $50,000 in this uh, budgetary cycle. Yeah. Uh, $200,000 is four times that amount. Um, imagine if you could use a quarter of what is given to the student body every year to benefit you so that there can be uh, closed circuit television cameras placed throughout this uh, campus. So, so become active in your student government and um, don't believe that a part of going to school happens or the, the primary purpose behind going to school is learning what you can within the classrooms, but um, learning how uh, governance works uh, as a whole, you know, and, and, and so please get involved. So I've seen you organize your team for the basketball tournament, so you can organize, you know, your list of um, concerns and um, get them in to Cobus, okay? And request a meeting right. with Cobus so that Cobus yeah would be aware as to what you expect from them as an organization going forward. Meeting with the administration, because what I get from, from all of you here, it seems like um, you feel like there's some sense of apathy with the administration towards your concerns. And as uh, my colleagues have been saying, COBUS is definitely the tip of the spear for you to be able to uh, ensure that your concerns and stuff are brought to them and that your concerns are addressed going forward. Okay. Thank you very much for this. Any other questions? No? I want to make one more point. Um, mm -hmm. um, I just want to say there's always going to be two sides to a story. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the security officers and uh -huh. they're not doing their job, sometimes, honestly, it's the students sometimes. Um, maybe students need to realize that when security officers do their job, they're doing it for a reason. And when we set rules, when the college set rules, they have to follow the follow rules, the rules. For it to That's work right. properly. Like with the IDs and everything. I might be guilty that sometimes, sometimes I'm annoyed that I have to show my ID every time I go in the library. But we have to do it. We have to know that we need to carry our IDs so that, so that when we reach to the gate, and the perimeters, we have to show our IDs so that when everybody else come in and they don't have their IDs, we know that, hey, that person's not uh, 
a student of the College of Bahamas, and maybe that would help the security officers do their job better. Some of them are really trying. Not all don't do their job. Some are really trying, and some yes. of them just need the cooperation of the students. So maybe we need to work together as students to just follow the rules. Like when they say, oh, don't walk to win. Like the, if you have a six to nine class, like I have a six to nine class, and my class comes out to nine, don't walk to win. Don't walk to the, the, the court by yourself. Like, like some people say, oh, I'm still gonna walk by myself. Like, why would you do that if they tell you not to do it? And then when something happens, you wanna believe the security officers. Like, we really have to like, follow the rules, and then maybe that'll help with the problem as well. The students have to work with the security officers, so to help them do their job better. Sounds like there also needs to be a program of public education as well. Yes, right. yes. Because, um, you know, different atmosphere, so everybody has to respond to the security concerns in a different way Absolutely. for their own safety. Absolutely. So COBUS can obviously be key to that as well, yes. since they don't have the budget to do it. Well, thank you very much.